How y'all doing? Tevis McCauley here. Just out here, you know, this time of the year, you know, whenever the deer season's winding down, you got to get a bunch of boots back on the ground and, and uh, try to get an inventory of your herd. You know, just try to find a bunch of survivor bucks and, uh, you know, and, and hit a lot of sp spots that you generally wouldn't go into, you know, especially during the deer seasons and get in there and get deep and uh, try to locate some of your bucks for, the, for next year. This big native grass field right here, you got a bunch of blue stem. Look at that, it's beautiful. So you can see from way up here, you got all your green fields, you know, your winter wheat where these deer will be feeding in that big bottom over there, that big Medicine River bottom. And then of course, this is all big native grasses. This is just a huge bedding area. But you know, we're gonna kill, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone as we're out here putting cameras out and putting some corn out and scouting around and try to find some late season bucks. We're also gonna check some of these duck ponds and see what kind of waterfowls they're holding. See these plum thickets like right out here in front of me are some of the greatest cover known to man for a whitetail out here in Kansas. Anytime you get big plum thickets like this, you generally, they hold some really big old mature bucks. Like a good area will be right out here in front of us a couple hundred yards. I see a bunch of these plum thickets popping up in various areas. And you got your big green fields back behind us, so this can be a great area to put a trail camera, a cellular trail camera, a stealth cam cellular trail camera, and get some pictures of some big deer. In fact, this is a big section that we didn't even hunt this entire year or last year. So it's kind of like a big sanctuary area, which I know, I know that here in a few days or, or less, we're gonna have some big deer pop up on this cell camera I'm about to put out over here. This looks like a great area. Got a good tree over there to get a cell camera on. A lot of cover right here where they'll feel comfortable feeding. Let's get her done. These stealth cam cell cameras, man, are one of the greatest, greatest tools in the world for, uh, for finding big giant bucks. And you know, the cellular aspect of them makes them to where you ain't gotta come in here and check the card so often, plus it gives you an instant report of what you got going on. And we've been utilizing these stealth cams for many, many years. And I contribute a lot of our success to these stealth cam cellular trail cameras. There's no other more, there's not another more durable, reliable uh, cell camera on the market, in my opinion. It's coming from a guy that, that runs thousands of trail cameras every year and uh, has used them all. These stealth cam cellular cameras are, are absolutely the best tool that we've ever had. And uh, I contribute a lot of our success to these cell cameras. Once you get your cell camera set up, of course you wanna add it to your hunt stand app. You know, and these, bad, these hunt stand apps are the legit, real deal. And uh, if you're gonna utilize an app, you know, a hunting app, Hunt stand's the way to go. If you can utilize a trail camera, stealth cam's the way to go. Take it from a guy that started Whitetail Heaven Outfitters in 2002, 23 years ago, that has used about everything under the sun and tried it all. And uh, we've had a ton of success in adding hunt stand to our, cellular, to our cell phones and adding stealth cam cellular trail cameras out in, our, out in the field. Uh, it helps us tremendously get you guys on Giants and your success is our success. Continually putting clients on Giants. Nobody does what we do, baby. Let's go, let's roll.